Magandang araw, April and Marcus po, ang inyong pretty ate sa EdTech Unit. Alam ba ninyo na may webinar o online training session ng EdTech Unit tuwing Sabado? Ang araw na ito ay nakalaan para sa ating mga mahal na kaguruan upang turuan sila ng mga bagong kaalaman at kakayahan sa paggamit ng mga bagong software at applications para sa pinaka-epektibong paraan at lubos mapagpusay ang kanilang paraan ng pagtuturo. This is also our fresher session for our beloved teachers to enhance their skills in technology. Every Saturday, we will conduct webinar sessions for teachers about the use, advantages, and relevance of different blended learning software applications. Ang webinar sayang ito ay magsisimula ng alas 9 ng umaga hanggang alas 12 ng tanghali para sa morning session. Magsisimula naman ng alauna at magtatapos ng alas 4 ng hapon ang afternoon session. You can watch us in our DepEd EdTech Unit Facebook page, Educational Technology Unit YouTube channel, DepEd Tayo and DepEd Philippines. Kita-kits tayo tuwing Sabado! Magandang araw, Sir Wilbur po at your service. Narito ang itulay upang gabayan ka sa inyong pag-aaral upang lubos na maunawaan ang iba't ibang paksa o subject. Ang itulay ay isang free online tutorial class na pinangungunahan ng ICTS Educational Technology Unit sa pumumuno ni Undersecretary Elaine Del B. Pasqua. Ang programang ito ay hindi lamang para sa mga bata, kundi ito rin ay magsisilbing gabay sa mga magulang at mga guro kung paano nila ituturo o gagabayan sa bawat asignatura ang kanilang mga anak o mga estudyante. Sa kasalukuyan, ang self-learning module mula sa regyon ng Calabarzon at kilala sa tawag na pivot ang ginagamit sa ating itulay online class. Kaya ano pang hinihintay ninyo? Ihanda na ang inyong mga ballpen o lapis, papel o kwaderno at samahan kaming itulay ang pagkatuto para sa bawat batang Pilipino. Sama-sama tayong magtutulungan para malampasan ang mga hamon sa panahong ito. Halina't matuto kasama ang inyong online tutor sa oras na ito. Hi learners, I hope you are having an amazing day. This is Tutor Kevin checking in once again sa isa na namang itulay online tutorial ngayong hapong ito with the subject of course, Science Grade 9. Kaya ang ating mga minamahal na mga parents ay napaya-invitado ngayong hapong ito para sabay-sabay tayong matuto. Hindi lamang po ang inyong mga anak o ang mga mag-aaral natin, kundi Para din po ito sa mga sa mga parents, ano po, para makasabay tayo sa ating uh, aralin sa grade 9 science. By the way, ladies and gentlemen, ang ginagamit ko pong uh, module ay galing po sa Region 4A Calabar Zone at uh, ito po ay tinatawag nating uh, learners pocket, okay? But of course, I have a few references po na pwede na, na, na isinama ko sa ating uh, uh, aralin ngayong hapong ito, okay? So good afternoon, magpapakilala po muli ako. Ako po si uh, Teacher Kevin or si Tutor Kevin. Once again for Monday, itulay sessions from 2.20 to 3 o'clock in the afternoon. At syempre, ayan, live na live pa rin tayo sa ating official Facebook page ng DepEd EdTech Unit at syempre ng ating uh, DepEd Tayo. And of course, aside from official Facebook page, Live din po tayo ngayon napapanood sa ating official YouTube channel ng ating DepEd EdTech Unit at syempre sa DepEd TV. At ngayong hapong ito, uh, magsaya lang tayo, mag-enjoy lang tayo sa isa na namang uh, Grade 9 itulay session. Okay? So handa na ba kayong lahat? Syempre para tayo ay... Uh, ay magkaroon ng interaction. I'm inviting all of you na mag-comment sa ating uh, comment section sa official Facebook page and I'll try my best para mabasa po ang inyong mga comments. Okay? Sama-sama at sabay-sabay tayong matuto ngayong hapon ito. Muli, share-share lang tayo and good afternoon. Alright! Ayan. 
We are now in quarter four, week seven. Konting kembot na lang at uh, matatapos na natin ang ating quarter four. Ibig sabihin nun ay tapos na ang uh, school year 2020-2021. At syempre magpapatuloy pa rin ito sa 2021-2022. Okay? So napaka-exciting ng topic natin ngayon lalo na kung mahilig kayo sa mga motor o sa mga tungkol sa sasakyan. Okay? Sige. Quarter for week 7. Pero bago tayo pumunta sa ating main topic for the day, ito muna ang ating most essential learning competency na pag-uusapan natin ngayong hapon ito. Okay? Ah, sige. Ang most essential learning competency natin ngayong uh, hapon ito ay, of course, nasa inyo ng screen, Explain how heat transfer and energy transformation make heat engines like geothermal power plants work. At ito ay may code na S9FE-4G-45. Okay? Sige, share lang po natin ang ating uh, video para sabay-sabay tayong matuto. Okay? Sige, lalo na sa ating mga grade 9 uh, learners. But before we proceed to our main topic, kumunta muna tayo ngayon sa ating review of past lesson. Direction, we'll read each question carefully, then write the letter of your answer. Alright? Sige, let's have it. Number one. First law of thermodynamics deals with A. Conservation of mass. B. Conservation of energy. C. Conservation of momentum. Or D. Conservation of pressure. You have five seconds. Go. Five, four, three, two, one. And the answer is. The first law of thermodynamics deals with letter C, conservation of energy. All right. Now, let's have question number two. All of the following are examples of spontaneous reaction except, is it letter A, going uphill? Is it letter B, melting of ice? Is it letter C, keeping the food fresh from spoilage? Or is it letter D, rusting of iron? Which of the following are examples of spontaneous reaction? Or all of the following are examples except? Five seconds, go. Five, four, three, two, one, and the answer here is letter, what should be the answer? Letter A, going up hill because it requires you to move. All right, next. Question number three. How does the water from the deep well move upward? Is it letter A? It occurs naturally. Is it letter B? It uses water heat pump. Is it letter C? It is a spontaneous process. Or is it D? It follows from higher temperature to cooler temperature. Which or how does the water from deep well move upward? Five seconds, go. Five. Four. Three, two, one, and the answer is letter B. It uses water heat pump. Okay? Next, number four. All of the following are examples of non-spontaneous process, except for one, keeping the food fresh from spoilage, going uphill, melting of ice, or breakage of egg. 
All of the following are examples of non-spontaneous process except letter. What could be the answer here? Number four is letter C, melting of ice. Okay, it occurs uh, naturally, di ba? Next, number five. What is the use of heat pump? It is used to, letter A, transfer heat from a colder reservoir to a warmer reservoir. Is it letter B? Transfer heat from a so from a warmer reservoir to a colder reservoir, or is it letter C? Transfer heat to a colder reservoir, or letter D? Change heat. Five seconds. Go. Five, four, three, two, one. The answer is: What is the use of a heat pump? It is used to transfer heat from a colder reservoir to a warmer reservoir. That's why it's called the heat pump. All right. So hi, uh, KG, uh, Daniel. Uh, good afternoon to you. And share lang natin tong video nito sa ating kapwa grade 9 at syempre sa mga grade 9 parents para matulungan tayo ngayong hapong ito sa inyong mga module na sinasagutan. Okay? Now, ladies and gentlemen, quarter 4, week 7, let's start the topic heat, work, and efficiency. Now, work. Pag pinag-usapan natin itong work, pwede itong iba't uh, iba, iba. Pwede itong nagsusulat ka, that's work. Naglalakad ka, that's work. Ano pa bang example? Gumagana yung machine, that's because of work. Di ba? Now, pag sinabi natin work, of course, it requires an amount of energy. Di ba? Kunyari, para makapag-work ka sa araw, kinakailangan mo ng kumain para magkaroon ka ng energy. Pag hindi ka kumain, hindi ka makakapag-work ng maayos because you don't have enough energy. Di ba? Ganun din, kunyari, ang electric fan. Para siya tumakbo, kailangan niya ng either isaksak mo sa plug directly or kinakailangan mong gumamit ng baterya if it is battery operated. Ganun din sa iba't ibang machines. Di ba? It requires a certain amount of energy for for a work to be done. Now, pag-usapan natin si energy. Energy can be converted into one form to another form. Okay? Meron tayong iba't ibang uh, klase ng uh, energy. Example, mechanical energy. Alam niyo ba ang ating katawan, uh, meron mga bones at meron mga joints at merong mga structure ito sa skeletal system na kaya tayo nakakagalaw it's because of the ball and the joint that is a form of mechanical energy kapag tayo ay nagsasalita o ngumunguya that is also a form of mechanical energy okay now another form of energy is electrical energy of course there must be an electrical source now mechanical energy can be converted into electrical Energy, let's say for instance, we have a turbine. When a turbine in a, in a let's say, a geothermal power plant, papaikutin yung turbine, then the turbine is a form of mechanical energy. Then it is converted into electrical energy. Then another one is it can also be converted into chemical energy. And of course, energy can also be converted into thermal energy. So energy can be converted from one form to another. It can be from mechanical to electrical to chemical to thermal energy. Let's say meron kang gas tank, sa loob nito merong uh, LPG or liquefied petroleum gas, then kinilik mo yung kalan, mechanical energy, then, uh, so yung, yung, gas, yung, gas, yung LPG is, uh, is uh, chemical energy siya, kinilik mo yung uh, yung Sakalan mo, mechanical energy, then nag-spark, it forms thermal energy. Okay? So that is about energy. 
Now let's talk about heat, work, and efficiency. Now, are you familiar with this? This is what we call as an engine. So if you have a, like a car, it has an engine. So meron ding motor o meron ding makina ang mga motorcycle. So malinaw tayo doon. Now, bakit natin pag-uusapan ang, uh, ang uh, engine? Okay? Now, energy and work is really relevant to make an engine uh, function. So kapag wala nun, ang engine mo ay hindi gagalaw or hindi ito gagana. Okay? So, an engine is requiring energy for it to work. Okay? Malino ba tayo doon? So, by understanding how heat works and how it interacts with various uh, objects, is applicable to engine. Now, tingnan natin yung structure ni engine. Ayan, meron tayong nakikita dyan yung mga piston, cylinder, umiikot yan. ba? So kapag in-start mo yung makina ng sasakyan mo, you will see those piston going up and down, up and down. ba? So, an engine or a motor is a machine. It is a machine designated to convert one form of energy into mechanical energy. Now, we have a heat, uh, heat engine. Heat engines convert heat into work. Again, a heat engine converts heat into work via the various thermodynamics or thermodynamic processes. So, malino tayo doon. All right. Now, we have here the heat. What happens to the heat now? Now, the heat and temperature often, so pinag-usapan natin last time yung heat and temperature, ano? Now, let's try to look at this. Heat is absorbed by heat source or the high temperature reservoir. Now, the energy absorbed by the heat engine is used to perform useful work. Kaya, if you have a motorcycle or a car, you have, before you, you use it, kinakailangan, painitin mo muna siya sa umaga. Start mo yung makina. Hindi ka pwedeng uh, tatakbo agad. So, kinakailangan muna painitin yung engine mo. Bakit? Of course, for, for your engine to work properly. Alright? So, next. However, not all the heat absorbed by the engine can be converted into useful work. Ulitin natin, kinakailangan ng, ng engine na uminit or kinakailangan niya ng heat. Pag in-start mo yon, sa loob niya, yung mga pistons ay gagalaw. So, iinit yung iyong makina. But, not all that heat is can be converted into useful work, sabi nga dito. There will always be a portion of heat that will be lost. So may mawawala, may matatapon as a result of the interaction like friction. So hindi lahat ng heat ay kinakailangan ng engine. No? So ano nangyayari dyan? This loss of heat is called waste heat. Okay? It's called waste heat. Now, ano namang nangyayari sa waste heat? Saan ito napupunta? It goes to the low temperature reservoir or the heat sink of the heat engine. So, malino tayo doon. Now, the energy converted as useful mechanical work is equal to the difference in the heat input from high temperature reservoir and the heat output that was conceived by the low temperature reservoir. And we can equate it as this. Work is equal to heat input minus heat output. Are we clear on this? Again, work is equal to heat input minus the heat output. Okay, let us continue. I have here different uh, pictures and let us identify 
if alin ba, alin ba dito sa mga uh, objects na nasa screen natin ang gumagamit ng heat engine? Okay? Alin kaya dyan ang gumagamit ng heat engine? Now, let us identify the first one. You have here a truck. A truck, is it using a heat engine? Huh? Applicable ba siya dyan sa heat, ang heat engine sa truck? Well, of course, it's a vehicle. Para tumakbo to, kinakailangan ng engine. So, yes or no? Check or cross? The answer is, of course, check. Applicable dyan ang heat engine. Kasi nga, well, meron siyang engine. Next. Uh, flat iron. Nakita natin dyan sa picture ay uh, merong uh, plancha. Question. Is it considered that is this object uh, using engine or heated engine or heat engine rather? Applicable ba yan? Yes or no? No, it does not. Okay? Wala naman siyang motor o wala naman siyang makina. Next, this bicycle. Ayan. This bicycle. Gumagamit ba siya ng engine or motor? This is a manual uh, bicycle, ha? Check or cross? The answer is... No, it does not use a motor or an engine. Siguro, kung kakapitan mo ito ng makina, possible yon. Next, is this electric fan? I know meron tayong electric fan sa bahay. Is it using a uh, heat engine? Yes or no? The answer is... Yes, it's using heat engine kasi may motor to. Diba may motor? Next, candlelight. Yes or no? Hi, Gab. Hi, KG. Good afternoon. Now, let's answer your, uh, this one, the candle, lighted candle. Meron ba siyang, uh, is it using, uh, applicable ba dyan ng heat engine? Yes or no? Well, of course, no. Wala naman siyang engine. Diba? Or motor. Next is this, geothermal power plant. Are they using heat engine? Yes or no? Or check or cross? The answer is yes. Para mapatakbo yung mga, uh, yung ma may makina yan para mag mapatakbo yung iba't ibang proseso nila. Okay? Next, we have here, uh, this one is a train. Is it? Uh, using a heat engine, check or cross? The answer is, ayan, check. Kasi diba, kinakailangan niyang gumamit ng engine. So may makina yan para tumakbo, of course. Airplane, kinakailangan ba ng heat engine? Check or cross? Ayan, tama si Gab. Power plant, yes, tama din. Airplane, Yes, it needs, because of course, meron yung engine. Diba? Magkabila nga sa left and right wing, meron siya, diba? So para siya tumakbo. Alright? Yan, check. Very good si Gab. Uh, hi, hi, Rachel and hi, KG. Very good ka din. Good afternoon. Share lang natin to. Medyo maaga lang tayo nag-start para medyo mahaba-haba tayong makakapagkwentuhan ngayong hapong ito. And of course, Type nyo rin yung pangalan ng school nyo at saka yung mga science teachers nyo para syempre ma-acknowledge din natin ngayong hapong ito, alright? At kung saan division kayo uh, galing. Now, ayan. Let's continue. Good afternoon sa inyo lahat. Share, share lang natin itong video na to. Alright. Eh ano nga ba yung heat engine? Okay. I wanted to look at this. This is an example of the process happening in a heat engine. So, merong piston na tumataas at bumababa. Okay? Now, 
wherein the thermal energy is converted in to mechanical energy, then the mechanical energy is also converted into thermal energy. So, malino ba tayo doon? Kaya isipin ninyo, yung mga jeep, o kung sino mang may motor dyan o sasakyan, o kaya kahit electric pa, no? kahit anong may motor, di ba umiinit siya? Di ba? So, for it to work, kinakailangan uminit para sa thermal energy is really converted into mechanical energy para umikot yung propeller ng electric fan o para uminit din yung uh, yung machine mo. Okay? Example, meron kang dry cell, ikonekta mo doon sa dynamo. Yung dynamo, iinit yon once na maka-catch up siya o once na magkaroon siya ng source of energy. That is when thermal energy is converted into mechanical energy. Are we good on that? Are we good on that? All right. Next. So again, a heat engine is actually a conversion from one energy form to another, specifically thermal energy to mechanical energy. Okay. There are three things happen that happens in a full cycle of a heat engine. So may mga processes kasi na nangyayari. First is, of course, heat is added. No? The heat added is the input which is relatively having the a high temperature. Diba? Pansin ko sa aking sasakyan, uh, meron ako doon uh, uh, thermometer or yung gauge. Kapag alam kong mainit na yung sasakyan, yung engine, no? kumapalo yung uh, gauge ng, uh, ng temperature pataas alam kong umiinit yung aking makina. So, malinaw tayo doon. Secondly, ayan, ayan, kita ko pinun, Gabriel, Kirubin. Secondly, some of that heat energy from that input heat is what happens to that. It is used to do work. So, malinaw tayo doon. That heat is used to do work. Okay, so kapag hindi uminit yung makina mo, meron problema. No? Pero syempre, meron lang yang uh, meron kasi sa, sa engine kasi meron tinatawag tayong uh, uh, yun nga, temperature gauge, tapos uh, thermostat, ayan. So, siya yung nagde-detect kung umiinit ba yung engine or hindi. Malino tayo doon. And the third one is the rest of the heat is removed at a relatively cold temperature. So, importante naman yung cold temperature. No? The rest of the heat is removed at a relatively cold temperature. Hindi pwedeng laging init ng init lang yung engine mo, mag-overheat yan. Hindi mo rin magagamit. Masisira. Alright? Next tayo. So, I wanted to look at this picture. Uh, animated picture. So, ayan, nakikita nyo, merong piston. So, merong piston na taas, baba, no? So, meron dyang fluid sa loob, no? May fluid dyan sa loob. So, it makes the engine work. And of course, for your engine to work, it has to undergo combustion. Diba? Kaya, kaya umiinit siya, may combustion. Kaya mapapansin mo, yung tambucho may usok. So, kailangan sunugin yung gasolina mo para mag-work si engine. Kapag hindi niya, uh, walang combustion, wala rin work na mangyayari. May problema ang makina mo. Okay? So, ayan. So, isa yun sa dahilan kung bakit kinakailangan magpakarga ng gasolina sa mga gasoline station. Hi, good afternoon, uh, Sandy Rose. Uh, you saw us watching from UK in an integrated school, a level 1 district division of Sarangani, suking-suki talaga natin itong sa, sa New Canaan uh, Integrated School. Good afternoon sa inyong lahat dyan. Sa principal, sa science teachers dyan, good afternoon po sa inyong lahat. At uh, I'm looking forward na someday ay magkita-kita tayo when the pandemic ends. Okay? Good afternoon sa inyong lahat dyan. Now, so yan. Dito pa lang sa illustration na ito, makikita na natin yung function ng engine. Ano? Now, heat is produced using a combustion process. No combustion, no heat. No heat, no work. 
which in turn makes the use of fuel and an oxidizer for that fuel like air. Siyempre, kinakailangan ng air para mangyari ang combustion. So, nagpa-pump si pistons. Alright? Next natin. So, we have two types of engine. No, commonly, meron tayong internal combustion engine at meron din tayong external combustion engine. Pag sinabi natin internal combustion engine, syempre, meron kang, meron kang makina. Pag naman sinabi natin external combustion engine, wala, uh, the, the combustion happens outside. Lalo na yung mga trend dati, yung mga steam train, Kaya kailangan gumamit ng uling. Kahit yung mga barko, wala pa silang engine dati. Or uh, may engine, I'm sorry, may engine. Pero kinakailangan gumamit ng uling as the heat source. Ganon din sa mga steam train. Unlike yung sa internal combustion engine na automatic na. Pinapainit niya na yung sarili niya para gumana yung engine. So again, commonly we have the internal combustion engine and we have the external combustion engine. So kanina, uh, if the train is uh, steamed operated, that's an external engine. So kung, walang, uh, so kung wala kang combustion using charcoal or coal, hindi tatakbo yung train. So yun ang ginagamit sa, ng, uh, ng, mga, ng mga dati pang panahon na steam train. So ngayon kasi medyo rare na si steam train. Ano? So Puntahan natin si internal combustion engine. Of course, basically in the internal combustion engine, combustion happens inside your engine. Okay. Ayan. So burning of fuel takes place, uh, uh, this not outside, but inside the engine. So I'll edit it. Okay, I'll edit it muna. So combustion happens inside the engine, not outside the Kaya nga tinawag na internal uh, combustion engine. Kasi it, it is happening inside the engine itself. So ayan. Sige natin, when we say internal combustion engine, the uh, burning of fuel happens inside our engine. When we say inter external combustion engine, the combustion happens outside the cylinder turbine or the engine. Kaya gumagamit ka ng source of heat which is the charcoal. Diba sa movie na Titanic, nakita nyo, yung Titanic, meron mga tauhan na nagpapala na nandun sa ilalim na bahagi na, sa lowest deck ng barko kung saan merong stop ng uling na pinapala nila, pinapasok dun sa heat source para, of course, tumakbo yung engine ng barko. Okay? So, imagine napakainit siguro doon sa, sa lugar na yon. Now, ayan. Okay, sabi ni Gab, yung external combustion engine karaniwan sa mga steam engine train po. Need po ng uling. Yes! That's perfect, Gab. So, kinakailangan talaga nun. Okay? Para gumana yung ating engine. So, imagine nyo yung development of technology from external to internal combustion engine. Ayan. So, sa internal, kinaki, sa internal uh, engine, you need the power of fuel, well, of course. Okay? For combustion to happen. Ito naman sa external, you need charcoal. Okay? Sige. Now, Sabi dito, most automobiles, so yung mga sasakyan ngayon, are either using diesel engine or gasoline engine. Ang, uh, ang ginagamit ko ay uh, gasoline engine. No? Yung sa, mga, sa iba naman, gumagamit yung makina nila, they use diesel engine. Now, hindi pwede magkapalit yun ha, sa makina. Depende sa makina mo. Now, in the case gasoline engine, in the case of the gasoline engines, most have four cylinders. Yung sasakyan ko six cylinders, no? Each containing a piston. Hindi mo tumataas baba. Each piston undergoes a series of movements 
Kung ilan ang piston mo, like this one, four pistons, it undergoes a series of four movements or four strokes. Mabilis yon yung strokes na yun. Let, Try to look at this. This is the, uh, what is inside an engine. You can see there, four cylinders because this is a four-cylinder uh, engine, no? Makikita natin, merong piston to, uh, for intake, no? May cylinder for intake wherein meron yung tinatawag nating intake valve. So, ano naman ginagawa niyan? Now, sa intake stroke, the intake valve opens. So, nagbubukas yung valve yun sa itaas, yung barbola, no? Allowing the cylinder to receive the fuel air mixture as the piston moves downward. So, sa makatuwid, mare-receive nung papasok yung gasolina na may air doon sa cylinder, sa intake valve na nandoon sa intake na, uh, na sa piston na yun, okay? Next, meron tayong compression. Pag sinabing compression, di ba pumasok yung gasolina mo na may air? Ito compress niya sa tataas. Kanina, pag nag-intake ka ng gasolina, bababa si piston. Then ngayon naman, sa compression, tataas niya yun yung piston mo. Magko-compress niya yun yung pumasok na gasolina na may air. Look at the molecules there. So, nag-compress. Then, ano mangyayari? Meron tayong tinatawag na fuel injector. Si fuel injector naman, or the combustion, uh, or the power, or the power stroke, meron tayong tinatawag na spark plug. Si spark plug, no? si spark plug, of course, magpa-function siya para meron, para ano mangyayari? So the spark plug at the top of the cylinder causes the mixture that ignites. So it ignites the process para magkaroon ka ng combustion. If there is an ignition, it will promote combustion. no? Making its temperature higher low. Siyempre, nag-ignite, nagkaroon ng pag-combustion, the temperature will become high. So, ayan. With, uh, with, the, with the increase in temperature, the pressure inside the cylinder increases also, causing the piston to go down. Okay? And perform mechanical work. So, balik tayo dito. So, may power ka na kasi gumana yung fuel, yung, I'm sorry, gum, uh, may power ka na because nag-ignite yung spark plug that promotes combustion. Anong nangyari? There is an increase in temperature and what will follow? If there is an increase in temperature, there is also the increase in pressure. So sa gradient pag-aaralan niya yan. Uh, increase in temperature, increase in pressure. Uh, pressure increase will also follow. So after that, meron tayong exhaust na tinatawag. Ano naman dito sa exhaust? So, exhaust stroke. We have four strokes, ha? The exhaust stroke, the combusted gases are pushed out of the open exhaust valve through an upward motion of the piston. The intake valve opens and the cycle repeats. So, let us summarize. We have four strokes in a four-stroke uh, four, uh, engine, no? Pansinin natin to. This one, uh, this engine goes down so that the gasoline with air will enter the intake valve. Then after that, the second valve is for the compression. It will go up to compress the, uh, the gasoline with air. Then after that, the power source will Ignite or the, what we call that? Anong tawag natin doon? So may ignition. Okay? So merong ignition pag in-start mo yung susi. Diba? Kasi pag sinusi mo yung ano kasi, yung sasakyan, hindi naman parang mag-click siya isa, then dalawa. So pag kinilik mo yung susi, unang click, papasok na yung gasoline, then yun na nga nangyayari doon sa intake at saka compression. Pag in-start, tinurn mo pa yung susi ng sasakyan mo, meron kang, magkakaroon ka ng combustion kasi gagana na yung spark plug mo. 
Okay? Then after that, yun na, exhaust valve at paulit-ulit lang yung proseso. So, ganun siya habang tumatakbo ang sasakyan mo. Okay? So, malinaw ba yun? Are we good on that? Alright, thank you so much. Now, let us talk about thermal efficiency. Pag sinabi naman natin uh, thermal efficiency, energy produced from, uh, from the combustion of fuel-air mixture is transformed into mechanical energy which moves the car. So ulitin natin, kinakailangan sunugin yung gasolina sa makina para magkaroon ng ignition. As, I mean, para magkaroon, masunog yung, maki, yung, yung gasolina at na may air, kinakailangan mag-ignite siya para may combustion. No? So, para mangyari yon, thermal energy has to be uh, converted into mechanical energy for the car to move. No heat source, or no thermal energy, no mechanical energy, thus the car won't move. Okay? However, hindi daw lahat ng thermal energy is useful. Is, uh, ulit. Not all thermal energy is converted into useful work. Parts of the engine itself, the cooling water in the radiator and the surrounding air will absorb the heat and will not be able to perform work. Kasi palalamigin nung tubig yung heat. Kasi kapag walang water application, yung heat mag-accumulate lang, mag-overheat ang engine mo. So some of the heat has to be wasted. Kinakailangan palamigin kasi yung engine. Okay? So as simple as that. This thermal energy which is not converted to useful work is called waste heat. Okay? This heat uh, losses are, unavo un are unavoidable and greatly limit the efficiency of heat engines. Are you now? So, for example, the engines of a, cars, of, of a car are only 30% efficient. 30% efficient. And ibig sabihin nun, that for every 100 joules of thermal energy produced by the combustion of gasoline, 30 joules lang ang nagagamit ang nagpapagalaw sa sasakyan, not the 100%. So ano yung equation natin kanina? ba? Meron tayong uh, equation na ginamit natin kanina dun sa simula. Ano yung equation na yun? Ha? Ano yung equation na ginamit natin kanina? That work is equal to heat input minus heat output. Now, therefore, it is impossible to construct a heat engine that is 100% efficient which can fully convert all the heat into useful work. So, hindi daw. An engine that converts energy into more work and uh, less waste is said to be more efficient. Alam nyo, ngayon, meron na tayong tinatawag na fuel injected at saka hindi fuel injected na, na mga sasakyan, ano? Pero sabi nila, maganda daw yung fuel injected. Okay? Now, sabi ni uh, Sadi Carnot, he found out that while it is true that we can express efficiency in terms of work, the efficiency of ideal heat engines depends only on the temperature or temperatures of the hot and cold reservoir. So it matters. According to him, an engine operating between two reservoirs of a higher temperature difference is more efficient than an engine operating between reservoirs of nearly the same temperature. So it has to, it, it should vary. Okay? So mali now. Now, it is computed as this. Work efficiency is calculated as efficiency equals work done divided by heat input times 100%. So, but since work is just an input heat minus the exhaust heat, the equation becomes efficiency equals the energy added to heat minus the energy removed to heat. Good afternoon, uh, Andalin from Salvador, San Salvador High School, Masinloc District Division of Zambales. Good afternoon sa'yo, dear. Ayan. Times 100. So efficiency is equal to QH minus QC divided by QH it times 100 equals 1 minus QC over QH times 100. Where QC is the energy removed by heat, energy in cold reservoirs. Okay? QH naman is the energy 
added by heat, energy added by heat, or the energy in hot reservoir. Pag QC, this is the energy in cold reservoir. Malamig, nalalagyan. Pag naman QH, energy in hot reservoir. So the equation now is efficiency is equal to 1 minus uh, QC divided by QH times 100. The equation for efficiency can also be modified to use temperature measurements. Kasi nga, sabi natin, of course, temperature is another variable here. So we can equate it as efficiency is equal to 1 minus uh, temperature or absolute temperature in cold, cold reservoir divided by the absolute temperature in hot reservoir times 100. So pwede nyo picture on tong uh, slide na to para uh, malinaw, para may guide kayo. Okay, sige, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, now let's have a sample problem. What is the efficiency of a gasoline engine that receives 193 joules of energy from combustion and lose 125 joules by heat to exhaust during one cycle? One cycle lang, ha? So, anong mangyayari? Let's have the given. So, we have the following given. We have the QC and our QH. So, the Q sub C, again, what is Q sub C? Ano nga yung ibig sabihin ng ating uh, Q sub C, ladies and gentlemen? Pag sinabi natin Q sub C, this is the energy removed by heat or the energy in cold reservoir, while, T, while, while Q sub H is the energy in hot reservoir. So our QC is 125 joules, while the QH is 193 joules. Okay, bakit 125 Joules yung Q sub C because it is the it is after the combustion okay the energy from combustion that lose into 125 joules by heat to exhaust during one cycle bakit 193 yung value ng Q sub H because that is the heat in the warm reservoir or the uh, heat reservoir we will now try to find the efficiency. Now, so these are the given. The efficient, our equation is efficiency is equal to 1 minus Q sub C over Q sub H times 100. Let us substitute the value. So efficiency is equal to 1 minus the value of Q sub C is 125 joules divided by the value of Q sub H is 193 joules times 100. Then we will do this. 1 minus the the quotient of 125 joules and 193 joules then we will multiply it to 100 to 100 so let's try to compute okay so 125 joules divided by 193 joules okay then uh the, the quotient to that will be multiplied to 100, no? So, what is the answer? The answer is 35.23 joules. Okay? So, ayan. Next natin, suppose a steam engine receives steam at 600 Kelvin. So, the unit here in temperature is Kelvin, no? The engine uses a part of this thermal energy for work. It exhausts the rest to a condenser of a temperature of 350K or Kelvin. What is the maximum efficiency of this steam engine? Our given is the temperature sub C and temperature sub H. What is now the temperature sub C? Of course, it is 350 Kelvin. Well, the temperature sub H is 6 is what? Okay, so edit ko lang to. Medyo hindi ko na edit. Sorry. Okay, so what is now the value? of our T sub H. Mm -hmm. What is the value of T sub H? The value of T sub H is is 600 Kelvin. Ayan. So, ayan. We will find the efficiency. Of course, our equation is efficiency equals 1 minus T sub C divided by T sub H 
times 100. So parang kanina lang. So we substituted the values. So efficiency is equal to 1 minus 350 Kelvin divided by 600 Kelvin. The answer to that will be multiplied to 100. Okay? So what will be the answer? The answer is... Okay, if we if we uh, compute for one minus two hundred fifty k divided by six hundred Kelvin, the answer is four uh, zero point forty one six 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 or zero point forty one sixty seven. Okay, so times one hundred is forty one point sixty seven percent. All right. So then, kasi simple. Paki picture na lang po. Now, let's, that's the end of our lesson. Let's have our quick quiz. Ready? Let's apply what we've learned today. Number one, which is the correct sequence of the four-stroke cycle? Is it letter A, intake, compression, power, and exhaust stroke? B, power intake, exhaust, power intake, exhaust, and compression stroke? Is it C, compression, power intake, and exhaust stroke? Or is it letter D, power, compression, intake and exhaust stroke what is the answer five seconds go five four three two one the answer is letter a intake compression power and exhaust stroke is it the answer is it the answer intake compression power and exhaust all right that is the answer. Next, number two. What is the function of heat engine? What is the function of heat engine? A, it converts chemical energy into mechanical energy. B, it converts thermal energy to mechanical energy. C, it converts mechanical to chemical energy. Or D, it converts thermal to chemical energy. Five seconds, go. Five, four, three, two, one. One, the answer is, of course, the function of heat engine is converting the, the thermal energy to mechanical energy. All right? Next, number three. Why is heat engine not 100% efficient? Giniscuss natin to kanina. 30% lang daw ang efficient. Uh, because all mixture of gases is converted into work. B, because engine needs to be cooled down. C, all gases are used up by the engine or D, some of the gases is taken up in the piston. Five, four, three, two, one. The answer is B, because all mixture of gases is converted into work. So, malino tayo doon. Okay? Can I confirm natin, ha? I confirm natin bakit nga hindi siya 100%? Bakit nga hindi siya 100%? Let us uh, sabi dito, the engines of course are 30% efficient only. No? That means that for every 100 joules of thermal energy produced by the combustion of gasoline, only 30% joules are used actually para mapagana yung sasakyan. Okay? So that is the answer. Four, what causes thermal energy? Is it A, exhaust of different vehicles? B, exhaust from, from different industrial engines? Is it C, degraded degradation of water? Or D, all of them? What is the cause of thermal energy? Five, four, three, two, one. The answer is the answer is all of them. Okay. Next number five. What is the function of the spark plug? A. The spark plug ignites the mixture, making it temperature high. It's temperature high. B. The spark plug pushes the piston down. Is it C? The spark plug uh, pushes the piston up. Ay nagkabaligtad tayo. Let us uh, confirm this one. Okay, edit ko lang, ha? Sorry, nagkabalik si Teacher Kevin. This is C. And this is 
B. All right, what is the answer? Five seconds, go. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. The spark plugs function is it ignites the mixture, making it its temperature high. So, malino tayo dun. Kaya tayo merong spark plug. Hindi pwedeng walang spark plug. Okay? So, next tayo. Next, number five. What is the function of, uh, yun na pala yun, spark plug. Okay, that's the function. It's letter A. Now, Thank you so much for being with me this afternoon for E2Li Online Tutorial Science Day, Science 9, Monday from 2.20 p.m. to 3 o'clock. I hope you've enjoyed the, what you've learned today at magamit ito sa, sa inyong pang-araw-araw na buhay because it's really applicable. All right? Now, uh, if you did not catch up this live, uh, you can uh, catch us up in our, uh, uh, of course, the official Facebook page and the official YouTube channel of that of uh, that De 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 online e to lie tutorial no and it's also upload uh being uploaded or after this it will be uploaded in deped comments so thank you so much and have a blessed day see you next week bye bye Sigurado ako na marami ka na namang natutuhan sa ating e tutorial session ngayong araw. Tandaan, ito ay hindi lamang para sa ating mga mag-aaral, kundi pati rin sa ating mga minamahal na guro at mga magulang na kaagapay natin para maituloy ang pagkatuto sa kabila ng nararanasang pandemya. Patuloy ding sumubaybay sa DepEd TV para sa mga araling ginawang video episodes. Mapapanood ito mula lunes hanggang sabado, alas 7 ng umaga hanggang alas 7 ng gabi sa inyong mga telebisyon. Abangan bukas mula alauna ng tanghali ang iba pang aralin sa ating e to life free online tutorial session sa English. I-like and subscribe at manatiling nakasubaybay sa ating e to life tutorial session sa DepEd EdTech Unit FB page at Educational Technology Unit channel sa YouTube at sa DepEd Tayo at DepEd Philippines social media accounts. Paalam!